Hey everybody. I'm still getting set up here. Maybe I'll turn that one off. I kind of hate that right now. It's too much, too much light. Anyway, I was trying to go outside today and do another forest stream and it did not happen um, because right as I was getting into my car to go out, it just started raining. Like it was comically bad timing. Like I sat down in the car and something started hitting my windshield and I was literally like, what is that? And realized it was like tiny little pellets of ice. Like not even true hail in like a damaging kind of way, but just like little bitty raindrops that freeze right before they hit you. And I was just like, uh, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> um, I really did enjoy my live stream yesterday where I was walking through the woods and it was really good um, physically and, and mentally. It put me in a really good spot. I was really happy for the rest of the day. I was feeling good. And then today has just been <laughs> a mess. <laughs> Nothing like major happened today. It's been like a series of minor frustrations. So my, uh, my woods, my attempt to take to the woods did not work out. Um, that's okay. I have other things to do for sure, but it's just annoying when you're trying to get something done and then you literally can't do that thing. Um, that's all right. We have a lot of other stuff to work on, including this house, which has been in progress for a while. Um, yes, it was like baby hail. <laughs> Hello to Graffin Shops, Katie Cat, Nerdly K, Carve Nerds, Summer Sunflower Muse, Creative Automaton, Artful Jackal, we're all here in the chat with us. Um, hello, welcome. I'm glad to have you. This can uh, help me get over my funk today. I hope that's what I was like hoping that the outside would do for me. Has put me in a better mood. Um, but that's okay. We can make our own fun. Or make our own fairy house, <laughs> at least. <sighs> the outside is also in a funk? I guess so. Oh, you just finished watching yesterday's forest stream? Well, thank you. That's better. Um, hi there, Zippity. Fun can be fairy house shaped. So do I, I guess that does help quite a bit for my overhead view to have this on. So we will, we will do the, I did get an ice latte and I got whipped cream today, which I never order whipped cream unless the barista asks me if I want whipped cream and then I have to say yes. <laughs> Those are the rules. Yay, Kitty, thank you so much for the sub. Um, uh, yeah, love to have you here. I love seeing new people hanging out with us here. Unfortunately, I didn't clean off any of my paint palettes last time. I was naughty, but it's all right. I've got other things. I've got other little trays here. I'll clean it afterward. Ugh. All right, we're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through the frustrations of the day. We are going to make something beautiful out of it. I hope so anyway. At the very least, I will be productive no matter what. Um, where are we at right now? This. I've done some of the detail painting. I've done, oh, uh, there were like a few spots that I still need to hit with that gloss coat I didn't do last time once I get in the zone it will all melt away says star potion I hope so that's what that's what today's goal is is to just get in the zone get out of my head do something more productive and better you know just trying to be a productive member of society or something. Okay, we're gonna switch views to overhead cam. 
here we are. And I'm going to start by filling in these little patches that I somehow left unfinished last time. I feel like I should be putting more hours into this little house, but normally I paint off, well, I'm, I'm not used to painting a whole thing on stream, so maybe I just need to put more hours in. It's all a process. I gotta work my way up, getting more comfortable, getting more ready to be productive. I'm like, one of my biggest frustrations today was with myself um, in not starting my day early enough. And then there's like, when you're, when you're self-motivated and like in charge of your own schedule, um, it can be really hard to balance these ideas of being disciplined and also like going easy on yourself, um, I guess mentally. So like a lot of the times, especially in my discord, if I say something like, oh, I'm feeling anxious today, you know, kind of having a rough day or something like that. People will tell me like, oh, it's okay to, you know, take a break, go easy on yourself. And while I agree with that, I can't just do that all the time. Like I have to be actively making improvements. I have to be challenging myself. I have to be self-disciplined. And so it's like a, it's a hard balance to like not be hard on myself, but then also be just hard enough that I'm actually making progress and that I'm actually, you know, really trying my best. Um, and you know, this is just an, I guess an internal issue that nobody else can solve but me, but it's something that I'm working toward. Oh, autofocus is going nuts. Ah, I keep forgetting about that. It like resets every single time. So anyway, I am in the process of learning how to be disciplined with my own schedule. <laughs> That's I guess the best way to describe it. You know, this is a problem that I have to solve for myself. It's something that I have to overcome my uh, hesitance or like frustration or, or depression or whatever I'm dealing with. Like I had to learn how to deal with it and to cope and not just not let it derail my day, but to say, okay, I'm having anxiety and that's not the end of my day. I need to have a, a coping mechanism that will help me get through it. So that's where I'm at. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Furioko. <laughs> uh, yeah, finally got the camera figured out, I hope. But anyway, uh, that said, my goal is to get out of that. My goal is to keep working on myself, to establish that schedule that I need, to be disciplined on myself when I need it and say like, okay, you know, you can't just take time off when you feel bad every time. You have to work through it. Um, because if I don't do that, I'm not gonna keep improving. So that is where I was at mentally today. And um, then when my going out into the woods got thwarted, I was just extra frustrated. But that doesn't mean that I can't still have a really nice, productive, stream and afternoon um to break out of that do something better so that's my goal star potion says i just try to remind myself that giving into depression and not doing anything has always made it worse yeah and there are times when like you really do need a break you do need you know to be away from people or be away from the stress um but it's really hard to like be truly honest with yourself about like am i is this for the best or is this just allowing myself to like stagnate so you know that's a question everybody has to answer for yourself it's not something that i can tell you what to do i'm getting out some super light green because i just feel like i need it in here maybe i'll apply it around the house I'm just following my heart right now. 
Stuart Redling writing is came for the crafts. Good. Thanks. This is a super light green. This is Faded Jade. And yes, just as a disclaimer, I am sponsored by Plaid um, Paint Products and they have provided a lot of wonderful items that I use here on stream. Um, let me grab some of my little paint brushes. <sighs> anyway, we're going to turn today around. I'm not going to be you can't just be a slave to your feelings. You have to, you have to push through it in the bad times, figure out what to do next. So that's what I am up to today. Right now I'm just kind of like adding a little bit of light green onto this mossy section, but I don't even know if that's what I want. Hmm. <laughs> I could just go all in and start doing, uh, I could just start doing the moss, but I feel like it's not, it's not quite finished. It's not quite there yet. I still have more details to add, more weathering and more, more this and that. Oh, is older Rian got her brush basin? That's awesome. I'm glad that you uh, found something useful that you're actually enjoying. It's functional for you. All right, I need to take it back a second. Focus, what do I want to do next? I have a variety of colors here we haven't really used. I also have glazes. No, it's too early. Too early for a glaze. I think what I really need on this house is like more shadows, more um, detail. It's a little bit hard for me to envision where I want to add that. Take a moment. <laughs> what do you guys think? It needs more shading. It's hard for me to decide what colors to use when this like bright pastel color palette is, you know, what we're working with. This is where we are at. Yeah, it definitely needs more detail, more, more shading. Toss a dark wash on there. Yeah, I'm looking at that. I'm trying to decide like what tones will work with it. I have a variety of metallics and things. Do I have... All right, let me look at some of my other paints. You like the aqua on the chimney? I like it too, but it's not, it doesn't have quite the level of detail I want there either. So I have some mediums, a glazing medium and a matte medium here. So these are not plaid products, that's okay. Transparent. This one's more on the parent, transparent side. I'm gonna make a glaze with, this as the base and add a little bit of color to that. 
Silex Studios is asking, let me use some more. I could use a purple for shading the blue. Um, yes, but this isn't really blue. It is, well, it is purple. It's more purple in person, I guess. Um, and I don't have like an obvious shade color for that. So we're gonna make one. There's some glaze. And what color is gonna actually serve? Is it darker tone? This is a real question. all of these hidden paints <laughs> that I don't always get out. Some game color paints. Anyway, I am uh, just working on things. very many dark colors now that I'm really looking at all of this because I would love to pick like a more heavily pigmented purple or um, blue and I just don't have it <laughs> <Not this. laughs> that's gonna be a problem this is cranberry wine this is one of the only colors that I have over here that's in even remotely the right color family. <laughs> Jeez, I should have planned this better. All right, whatever. Let's give it a shot. Let's just, we're, we're going on an adventure today because I didn't get to adventure in the woods. Oh gosh, just, it's like dripping off. Oh, you guys will get to experience my painting frustrations firsthand and see that I don't, I don't necessarily know what I'm doing. <laughs> so this is now like a pinky tone. Maybe I can add this to the roof. Let's see how it does on the roof. Darks are important. I um, was grateful to receive a wonderful shipment of paints from Plaid but I didn't necessarily choose the colors myself, um, which is fine. But now I'm realizing that there's some holes in my collection um, that I, I literally don't have the kinds of tones that I want to use on this. And so not only is it just a few colors that are missing, I don't have any dark colors in blue or purple. Uh, tones at all. So this shading won't work on the rest of the house necessarily, but this looks like it's going to work well on the rooftop. I'm glad I got to go out yesterday while the weather was nice. It sucks that the nice weather did not stick around at all. <laughs> and that apparently it's just gonna get worse over the next few days. But I am grateful to be warm inside. Um, I'm grateful to have people to share my art with. Um, you know, even when I have to deal with various life frustrations, I'm still very relatively lucky in the world. So, with all that in mind, I need to calm my shit, enjoy my afternoon, paint, and keep working on establishing my habits, keep working on making myself better and more functional human. 
And that's all I can do. But I have been enjoying my recent attempts at, you know, diversifying, doing more, doing different things. Um, that's been going well for me. So overall, even though, you know, stuff gets annoying at times and people on the internet are annoying to deal with sometimes, <laughs> certain people, not everybody. Um, you know, that's not going to go away. That's life. Um, you have to live in spite of it. So that's, that's where I'm at. <laughs> okay, so I just used some of this non-watered down paint and I'm going to start in the darker areas and really like go harder with the shadows. Since I don't have a lot of dark tones, I think that was something that I was missing is that I haven't really gone hard enough in the shadows. I've been like holding back. And I think that's why it looks a little bit too boring and too flat overall. So I'm going to bust out of that. Gotta get messy and make mistakes. Isn't that what Miss Frizzle says? She's got some kind of, her catchphrase is something like that. It's like the get messy and make mistakes part for sure. That's already making a big difference. Okay. So I have like a glazy version and then I have the fully undiluted pigment right here. Hi Stealth Slug. Nikolai says just have to take days one at a time. For sure. And today was a day that was a little bit harder to get started. That doesn't mean that I can't get going. It doesn't mean I can't still travel a far distance. So. Oh Nikolai, yes, that was you that ordered the Aries sketchbook. I saw that one of those orders have been placed. Thank you so much. I hope that you love it. I hope that it brings you inspiration um, as you resume sketching, like you said in your note. That makes me happy. <laughs> Take chances, make mistakes, and get messy, says Innocent Sinful. Yes, that is the full Miss Frizzle uh, catchphrase. Um, I know I've mentioned before that my mom was a teacher the whole time I grew up. So she was teaching second grade for most of my you know, formative years when I was in school living with her. And she had bushy red hair. So she would be Miss Frizzle sometimes. She was Miss Frizzle on Halloween once. I feel like that's a, another cosplay that's in my future. <laughs> someday. Just a simple straightforward one that would be a lot of fun. Hey! <laughs> That's a new alert we just got to see. Thank you so much Artful Jackalope donating 10 bucks. Um, that's great. You know what? I was just looking on Amazon last night uh, litter pickup sticks cost about $10 <laughs> and I was going to attempt to clean up some of the litter at my favorite park spots. Oh, uh, and Nikolai also gifted a uh, sub to Stealth Slug. That's so nice. There's already generosity and companionship flowing here in the chat. You guys are helping turn the mood around already. <laughs> Thank you so much to both of you, Artful Jackalope and um, Nikolai. Uh, thank you so much for your support. And I am going to order that litter stick so that I'm talking about like one of those poles that you can carry around with you and just like stab litter and pick it up. Uh, and we've got a cheer for uh, Aladdin. Oh my gosh, Kitty is now gifting subs. What the heck? <laughs> I just got five subs from Kitty, who gifted them to Navita Luna, Katie Cat, Granny J, Rainfish, and Zolda Rion. Wow. Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, that's nice. 
And yes, there's, there's our notifications that are catching up. Thank you guys so much for the support. Um, I'm going to get that litter stick. I'm going to carry it around with me next time. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to get those cursed trousers that I found in the woods. And I'm going to throw them away. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, kitty. Now we get to see, oh, and we're up. We have a level two hype train going right now. <laughs> That's exciting. I love it. Thank you guys for listening to my frustrations. Everyone's like, um, cursed trousers? What are you talking about? So yesterday I was out walking around in the woods. I did my very first ever um, exploring the forest stream where I hung out and um, just like explored in this local park <laughs> and as I was walking around and you can watch the video either on here on twitch as a VOD or the it's on YouTube as well now but um, I found a pair of cursed trousers oh uh, thank you <laughs> artful jackalope keeping that hype train going with some bits thank you so much and um, it says that the emotes are a reward, but I'm still waiting on approval for my emotes, so hopefully that will go through soon. Um, but yes, okay, so as I was walking around, there's some cursed trousers that somebody left just like on the forest floor. Oh, it is a hype train level three. Wow. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> That's exciting. Um, and so as I was walking around, I sat for a while at my, um, I sat for a while at this bench and, uh, the bench was just covered in litter. And so I thought, you know, if I'm going to come back here, if I'm going to be actively hanging out in the woods and streaming regularly, then I should get yeah, there still pending. Dang it. Come on. Emotes come through. Um, I should be doing something to give back um, and it certainly wouldn't hurt to spend a few minutes cleaning up trash that people had left around the forest. So that was just an idea that I had um, that I kind of spoke out loud as I was... Oh, they have uh, Valentine's unlockable rewards. Sorry, my brain is all over the place right now. Um, and as I was walking around in my stream, I came across a pair of cursed trousers that were just like laying on the floor of the forest and um, someone had abandoned them and so I thought you know it's, I should go back and throw those trousers away this is like a big big ass piece of litter that somebody just left out here these trousers are very cursed so that was on my agenda today I actually grabbed a little trash bag and gloves so that I could at least grab the trousers <laughs> and then I ended up staying home coming back because it wasn't good streaming weather. So thank you for the $10 donation, which I will use to buy a litter stick. And then I'm going to go back next time the weather is good. I'm going to clean up some of the trash by that bench and also the cursed trousers. <laughs> oh, Katie cat. Thank you so much for more bits with emotes and the hype train keeps going. <laughs> Trousers are a big responsibility, says Stealth Slug. You can't just ditch them in the forest when they're no longer cute. That's right. <laughs> um, so, you know, I don't want to glorify uh, my own charity work or anything like that. But if I'm in the forest, I might as well do something. I can, I can take a couple minutes and grab the trash that's around me. It won't necessarily be like a huge thing, but even just little little bits help and so I can take responsibility for the area that's right around me I can take responsibility for somebody else's cursed trousers that they abandoned on the forest floor and so uh, <laughs> artful jackalope says yeah I would probably not try to touch those with anything but a stick you are correct about that so I'm gonna get a litter stick and I'm gonna get those cursed trousers out of here it's what's good for the world. 
Anyway, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to, like, maintain that same mentality of, like, well, I can't necessarily change the whole world. I can't necessarily change my whole life overnight. But I can make baby steps in the right direction every day. And, you know, I can't clean up the whole woods, but I can clean up one pair of cursed trousers <laughs> that are just lying on the forest floor. Oh my gosh, they're an invasive species. The trousers are. You guys are entertaining. Thank you for making me laugh. I'm pleased with this decision to make the shingles stand out much more. Thank you for supporting my cursed trousel exorcism. Cursed trousers exorcism. Oh, Aladine, thank you so much for that cheer. You got, how much was that? I don't, it doesn't say. <laughs> oh, I guess it says on there. Thank you so much. Thanks for keeping this hype train going. You guys have already cheered me up at least as much as a walk through the woods. Yesterday was really, really, I feel like that was a healthy choice. You know, you gotta make healthy choices. Uh, so I don't get out very much and I honestly don't get very much exercise, but, um, yesterday was an exception to that. Something I want to challenge myself to do more of. I'm going to keep walking, keep picking up cursed trousers when I see them. Has anybody considered werewolves as an explanation for loose clothing? Loose loose clothing in the forest. Uh, I had not yet considered that, but thank you for um, that idea. I'll keep that in mind. When I go back for them, I'll be extra careful so that I don't somehow uh, become infected with lycanthropy. Why is there a Bigfoot emote? I don't know. I don't know. Not wear trousers. I hope not. That sounds dangerous. At a full moon, you turn into a pair of cursed trousers. Uh, I guess that's not the worst option, you know, like the full moon hits, you become cursed trousers laying on the forest floor and you just chill there until it ends. That sounds better than being forced to run around and eat people. Hey there, fatulous phase. Trousers should have been on a leash. This is a leash only area. Please use a belt for your trousers. What if someone puts you on while you're in your cursed trousers form? Uh, then they will be in for quite a surprise when you transform back into your human state. They'll feel pretty silly when they're suddenly wearing no trousers and there's another naked human next to them saying, hey, wait a second. <laughs> Silex Studios says, my husband just walked by and said, what the heck are you watching? Oh, tell him not to worry about it. We're just talking about, you know, accidentally getting turned into a cursed item of clothing on the forest floor. It happens to the best of us. They escaped. You guys have already helped take my mind off of my frustrations. This is great. <laughs> this is comically bad timing earlier. The Cursed Clothes podcast, I guess. I actually rewatched my um, forest walk video, which I usually don't do. I'll just kind of upload them to YouTube without looking back at what I've done. Because I don't need to watch my own streams. But I actually sat and watched it because I wanted to, like, you know, take a look at the quality, see how I can improve things, see what works best on that type of video. 
It's kind of odd because I'm not used to listening to my own voice or any of that. Luckily I wasn't on the camera because that always makes me <laughs> more awkward. Um, but I have some ideas. I'm going to make keep making those streams better. <laughs> kind of lean into the ASMR part a little bit more. <laughs> Hi there. Um, oh, I've got people showing up. Mythic Phoenix is now here, as well as Clean Noodle. Welcome, guys. We're just talking about, um, you know, trying to keep the forest clean of random cursed trousers and doing our part to become better humans. And we got fairy houses to keep us going. The best part was when I looked both ways before crossing the street. I mean, come on. You gotta, gotta set a good example. Chalice Adonix says, this is exactly the kind of stream I want to watch. A cool lady painting things while she talks about hexed clothing. <laughs> it's a very specific, I guess, desire that you have, but I'm really glad that I could fill that void in your life. Just regular human conversations. But yeah, it was kind of odd listening to my own voice at length as I was watching that video because I realized how much my voice, listening to my voice reminded me of my sister. Um, like different ways that she enunciates things or just like her tone sometimes. And I'm sure that that's just, you know, us being similar humans because we share quite a bit of DNA and grew up together. Um, but it was kind of like odd because it was just, it's, you know, weird listening to your own voice and suddenly saying like, Hey, wait a second. That's not very different than my sister, <laughs> the other human that is probably most physically similar to me out of anybody. But I don't know. It was kind of nice to get a different perspective. I think next time I might walk a little bit slower and spend more time looking at details of things like, you know, stop and focus on some certain leaves or, you know, if I cross a path of a bird who's singing a song to like sit and enjoy it for a minute. So that kind of thing was like what I was watching for when I was rewatching um, to see like what would make this you know, how can I improve this and make it even like closer to my goal or closer to, uh, how can I make this more interesting? High res mushies. Oh, that's awesome. Artful Jackalope saying, um, we pick up a lot of mannerisms from the people we hang out with the most. And, um, they're adopted, but they're always told that they look like their mom because it's, that's, um, she picked up her mannerisms. That is super neat. That's amazing. Um, you know, it's that nurture over nature kind of argument. And I definitely agree with that. Like your mannerisms can be inherited via time spent together and not necessarily just like biological, uh, relations. Um, but that's wonderful. Leaf review. I'm gonna stop and say, well, this leaf is pretty nice. It makes me feel some type of way. But uh, this other one, that one's no good. Um, Mixalcast, thank you for stopping by. Even though you gotta head out, thanks for saying hi. Yeah, I had a really good day yesterday. Um, the endorphins from the walk alone was a huge improvement. I came home feeling awesome. Um, treated myself to a latte, had a nice sandwich, and it was altogether a really good experience. So that is something I will continue to do regularly. I'm just gonna intersperse it with other streams and I have to be more mindful of the weather. I was inside when I decided that I would go out and I didn't really look at the forecast and that was my fatal flaw. Mm -hmm. 
The time in nature is clinically proven to help cure depression and stress, says Isolde Rion. That's, you know, not, not entirely surprising. It's not necessarily something I think about doing very often, and I need to make more conscious effort to get out and about because once I was out there, I realized, you know, how much it was helping. Here's this section. I don't know if it's entirely, because now that my autofocus is off, it might not be focusing at all. Womp womp. If you can see that, I think it looks way better. Oh, party bits. Thanks guys has been a good stream. What was I going to do? I was going to see about autofocus. I'll see if I can prevent the focus from freaking out again. I don't know. I'm doing my best. Looking so much more dimensional with the shading. That's what I was hoping for. It's still pretty good video quality. Okay. Well, thanks. I'm always trying to improve that. But hey, at least I care and think about it, even if it's not always getting better. We do our best. You're a big fan of the fingerless gloves. Thank you. I was wearing them just because I was going to go out and then haven't taken them off, so. I'm sure it will be just a matter of time before I get paint on them and regret it. But this is the path I've chosen for myself today. Let me know if the focus starts freaking out again and I'll turn it back off, but I do want it to be able to like follow if I move the house. Silex Studios is saying that the selling point for them when they bought their house was a patio. Um, they can't always go on walks because of their knees, but sitting in the sunshine and fresh air is always acceptable. That's awesome. I'm glad that um, even if you're not walking, it's still, you're getting those benefits from being outdoors and enjoying the fresh air. Because um, yeah, yesterday I definitely felt like a measurable difference in my mood and my, um, my day. And so that's something I want to keep chasing after. You know, take some initiative. These are the same compression gloves you have? Yeah, they're kind of just like the Amazon recommended ones. Nothing too special, but I think they have helped. They at least help keep my hands warmer because when it gets really cold, it's hard for me to do detail work. Shell Slug says it's been 84 years of darkness. Excited to see the sun again. I agree. Well, yesterday was a rare treat where it was really nice and sunny and relatively warm for this area. And today is not. Definitely think it's easier to smooth this shading on blend it now that I've got the glaze over the rooftop. The glaze also kind of flattened out the contrast that I had already added to the shingles. Um, so, getting better results all around. Navita Luna had a run in today. I'm glad that we can sit and uh, work through those similar frustrations together. But yeah, uh, 
Good stuff. Making fairy houses. Won't let the weather hold me back. Or any cursed trousers that I might come across. And uh, just kind of owning my healthy decisions. Moving on. That's where I'm at today. You gotta make a conscious choice to move past the bullshit when it won't stop. You know? Because it's not gonna just automatically get better. You have to live in spite of it. We only stand blessed trousers in this house. I have yet to encounter any blessed trousers, much less in the woods, but if I do, you'll be the first to know. Maybe the real cursed trousers are the friends we met along the way, so it's still slug. That's uh, definitely an idea. can still be a fairy day even with bad weather. Storm fairies. That sounds cute. I would love to see your take on a snow fairy. As you say, you want to felt one? Let's see it. Make it frosty. <laughs> People are chatting about projects, ongoing projects, as well as the weather in your city. Yeah, if you guys are working on your own projects today, as always, please share your progress, let people know what you have going on, so we can encourage each other on this cold, wet day where I'm not in the woods. You're working on writing today. Can we ask the snow fairies to chill tomorrow? I mean, I think that's what they're doing. They're chilling right now. They're snow fairies. Sorry, that was a terrible, terrible pun. Yes, please do share your work in our Discord as well. We have a very active Discord community where people share their ongoing projects and inspiration. And that always cheers me up too. When I'm feeling frustrated, I like to log in and just remind myself that people everywhere are working on things that will, that can, you know, just change your mood, bring you a little bit of joy. Sometimes that's all you can do for yourself is just find a way to make the moment a little bit better. Oh yeah, that makes sense if you don't want to share your writing, because it's sort of like a ongoing project, you want to keep it under wraps, that makes sense. Your snow fairies are hiding? Well, you can have some of ours. We're still working on your blanket. Oh yeah, I was checking in and everybody is like knitting progress the other night. There was a lot of really cool stuff in that channel. I feel like I'm missing some messages here and there. I apologize, I'm like focusing on my shingles here. My cat's right? I don't think, I think you were talking to somebody else. My cat is upstairs sleeping. He has been a lazy bum today and not helped at all with anything.
We'll see how long I can keep my stream up for. Maybe he will get bored and come down here and start begging for dinner. It tends to happen. Texas might actually get snow and ice on Wednesday. Wow. That is a, a big deal. I remember living in Texas and snow or ice at all was pretty rare. And usually when we did get anything, it was just, just enough to make the roads dangerous, but not actually be fun at all. Yes, I'm going to go exploring in different parks um, in the future. We'll go back to that one so that I can get the trash that is left out. Uh, but then after that, I'll find new places to explore and show you other cool things in my area. There's some like giant hollow tree trunks near me. I could go walking along the beach. I got some ideas. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to keep using this glaze first. I feel like I've too much of the dark color in some of these spots but you know it's always a trial and error process hi st. Lydia you like the pink roof thank you it's a candy house sort of <laughs> I guess a pastel Victorian home very stately for the, um, I don't know, <laughs> candy fairies, sugar, sugar plum fairies. Yeah, I'm digging this music too. It's always got new songs circulating through, but as always, we're listening to Radio Cutman, which is linked down in the description box below. This is a streaming channel by DJ Cutman, who's an awesome video game DJ. Hey, Rhea Bean, glad to see you here. You didn't miss too much. It was my intention to get back out in the forest and then the weather had other plans. I decided to stream anyway. Already my day is turned around. Kitty told you this was a pretty awesome stream? Well, thanks, Kitty. <laughs> I mean, I try. I'm glad to have you here and Kitty and everybody else. I'm glad that you are enjoying the streams, Nippity. You are, uh, you make me laugh <laughs> sometimes. So, thank you all for entertaining me as much as, if not more, <laughs> than I could entertain you. Oh, awesome. So yes, friends sharing the streams and meeting back up in the chat. I like to see it. <laughs> Love to see it. Well, you guys are always sharing your good vibes with me, so 
It's the least I can do to have a place to bring us together. Um, Chalice Adonix says, thank you for inspiring to get to work on your own project. Got to head out, but I hope your painting goes well. Thank you. I hope that your project goes well, whatever it is. Enjoy your time. <laughs> you just like seeing me make shit and drink lattes. <laughs> yeah. It's my life in a nutshell, Heidi makes shit and drinks lattes. I should just change my channel name to that. It's kind of long, but it's pretty accurate. And also walks through the woods. Don't forget that part. <laughs> oh, this roof is really, really coming together better. I definitely needed the shadow color. It sucks that I don't have more variety of tones. I'm gonna have to remedy that. I'll be like, hey, plaid. Um, I need some dark colors, please. <laughs> Atelier MS ADL. Atelier make shit and drink lattes. Got it, yeah, that's totally a better name than the one I already have. Almost done with this roof. I just have a few more little spots I'm gonna get into in the corner. And some overall touch-ups. Blend some things a little bit more. <laughs> Well, my day has already turned around now that I have my latte and my art. Now I'm unstoppable. That latte shake, that ASMR shake. Yeah, I had never like thought about doing actual ASMR stuff and then yesterday when I was walking through the woods I was like, oh. I should probably think a little bit more about how to make that enjoyable for people who are looking for a chill, calm down stream. I'm waiting for the uh, autofocus to stop. Stop autofocusing! Okay, I'm gonna turn it back off because I can't win. <laughs> But what I can do is just keep building consistency, keep streaming when I can. The foot crunch was lovely from the walking around in the forest stream. Well, I hope so. It worked really hard on that foot crunch. <laughs> Not really. I love this remix. I think I need to just rely more on this glaze and only add the undiluted color when I'm wanting it to be really dark. Like now. I'm getting my system down. It just takes a little trial and error. I'm 
going to focus here on my projects for a minute because, you know, I'm trying to actually make some progress. <laughs> Sometimes I get a little bit too distracted reading the chat. Um, Rina Bean is asking about getting stickers off of wood. Definitely use like Goo Gone or something like that. Somebody re recommended acetone, but acetone is definitely going to strip the wood of whatever finish is on it. So I would say don't use acetone unless you've already tried everything else. Yeah, uh... Goo Gone or similar like Goof Off. There's there's products that are specifically made for removing um, sticker residue that will not damage um, like a clear coat or a finish on the wood. So I would do that. Well, I've already been live for an hour. I'm like gradually getting less hyper aware of how long I'm streaming. That's a good sign. I used to just feel anxious the whole time I was streaming. But see, each time I go live, I have a little bit more confidence and comfort because I'm building the habits. So yeah, I guess where I was at this morning too is feeling frustrated with myself that I'm not far enough along in building better life habits, but then I look back at like even one month ago, even one month ago I've made a lot of progress. And then further back, like six months ago, I was hardly able to do anything. And here I am painting a fairy house, getting out and about, doing regular streams. I still need to like reach that anxiety of like creating a schedule and sticking to it. And I think that's going to be one of the next steps in my self-discipline um, for my healing process is that I need to, I need to like bite that <laughs> bullet and just set a time and say like, okay, this is going to be the time that I stream each day. And even if I miss it, even if I'm not able to fully stick to that schedule every single day, it's still a step in the right direction to even have like a daily goal time and then try to stick to that. Cause it is a process. Um, I realized that not having a set schedule has been just very, it's, it's one of the hurdles that I'm trying to overcome in general. I think it has been a somewhat negative thing in my life for years is that I haven't had a set schedule. Um, like I didn't have a certain time that I get up or a certain time that I go to bed or a certain time that I eat. And that hasn't necessarily been like detrimental to my life every day. But now that I'm like in a different position where I'm trying to establish a new normal for myself. I think that that would be a really good um, thing for me to strive for. So it's like that self-discipline that I was talking about doing things that I don't want to do just because it's healthy for me to do it <laughs> and not copping out and saying like, oh, well, I don't feel good, so I don't have to. Um, but actually like holding myself to a decision and saying like, well, it's going to happen at 2 PM, whether I feel like it or not. And then that's going to be the only, the only thing that really helps me improve, especially over time, because I've mentioned before that I feel like I would struggle to hold a normal job right now. And that's one of the reasons why I'm, um, oh, I don't have one yet. But that is my goal, is to get back to a place where I am um, have healthier habits, healthier lifestyle, and I'm able to 
hold myself to these promises of like, I have to do this at a certain time or I'll get fired or whatever. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's difficult to feel like I'm not far enough along yet, but then I look back and I say, Hey, look at how far I've come. And it's a really long way. And sometimes that's all you can do is yes, praise yourself for the baby steps, but also keep making them even past the point where you're not necessarily comfortable or fun anymore. So that's where I'm at. Oh no, there's another fly in here. The, I realized that the weather stripping around my door is really bad. Like there's a huge visible crack and I think that's where bugs are coming in. So there's yet another challenge of living alone and figuring stuff out, but that's okay. One more thing that I will overcome. Katie Cat is heading out. Thank you so much for stopping by. It was great to have you today. chat has been like especially active today. You guys are fun. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I have been diversifying my crafts. I have uh, been working on a variety of things, so it's not like feeling um, the dread of having to do some specific thing all the time because that can lead to burnout. But you also have to see things through to completion, which can be difficult when you have so many different irons in the fire, as they say. You can bite off more than you can chew and then it could potentially get harder, but it is definitely a good thing to not be stuck in a rut as well. I know that's one of the issues that a lot of creative types have, at least with my friends, is a lot of us are trying to do so many different things that it gets overwhelming. Yeah, Carver Nerd says, I have too many irons, it takes me so long to finish anything because I want to do everything. I feel that why you guys have seen so many unfinished projects from me, but just gotta keep moving them forward. Are the gloves required for painting? No, they're required for warmth though. It's still pretty cold down here. I didn't have the heat on until I sat down, which was an hour and 15 minutes ago, but it's still not really warmed up. Is that latte shake for you? Oh. Hold on, I'm gonna just take a nice little stretch. Oof.
Clean Noodles says, sometimes I have days where I have so many ideas and things I want to work on that I do none of them. A bit like being creatively overwhelmed. It's a very odd feeling when it comes. I totally get that. <laughs> Need a latte emo? Oh, that's a good idea. I'll talk to one of my artists about that. Latte, please. It's definitely <laughs> on brand for me, as they say. Just mixing up my paint a little bit more. I could probably add a little more pigment to it, but I don't want to change it mid painting. Latte emo. Okay. That one, I'm um, going to hold on to that idea. <laughs> Iced latte, specifically. We're almost done getting through these shingle sections. That's nice. Yeah. If I don't just like dump this over on myself. Nikolai is heading out for the night. Uh, thanks for sharing your fairy houses and painting and have a great night. Thank you. Thanks for coming and hanging out while I work on stuff. And uh, Stealth Slug was saying that their therapist suggested they try some sort of art therapy. So maybe it will help make you kind of less of a perfectionist. I think that's a good idea. One of the reasons I switched to simpler projects was so that I would let go of um, perfectionism a little bit. Like, it's easier to become frustrated with yourself when you care so much about the project that you're like, no, this really matters. I can't mess this one up. Um, and that can create stress. Um, and artistic stress is really hard to deal with, especially if you have a tight deadline or, you know, and cosplay was always like that, where it's like, you know, this is a complicated project. Everybody's going to see it. I have to have it finished by X convention or whatever. Um, and I needed a break from all that. So I switched to making little fairy houses and doing little crochet crafts and things that would allow me to harness my time and productivity um, without adding stress to my projects. So these fairy houses, I used to just call it therapy art. It was also one of my few ways that I felt comfortable hinting at the issues that I was dealing with while I was still trapped in that house with my ex. Um, and I couldn't really share what was happening and what was going on. But I would say, hey, I'm working on therapy art as kind of a way to be like, I'm not doing very well um, when I wasn't comfortable or able to explicitly discuss it. Um, so 
this uh, has really evolved quite a ways from my original therapy art projects that were just like solely a way to get through the day. Um, and now I'm still in that mindset of like not tr or trying not to bite off more than I can chew, working on the simple things, taking those baby steps, working hard each day. Um, and having something to share that I'm proud of, even if it's relatively simple compared to other stuff that I've worked on. Gruffin Chop says, definitely doing things that I care about less has helped me get out of perfectionism. Think that and thinking of every new venture as an experiment. Yes, uh, getting out of your comfort zone with like different materials or different mediums um, is another really, really great way to share that, to achieve that. So like at the time, I had been, I had been sewing, I had been making cosplay projects and trying to push myself to make these elaborate projects that I would inevitably feel disappointed with because I couldn't follow through to complete photo shoots without dealing with uh, him. <laughs> and uh, anyway, now I've totally released that. I totally have a different different um, approach to things uh, but I've had to let go of my old artistic ideas um, and projects that I could no longer finish because I didn't have the space didn't have the means didn't have the help um, etc and letting go of that and saying like okay well that was my old life and that was my old ideas that was what was um, you know relevant to me then it's not anymore because I'm in a different place physically mentally etc um and just having to be okay with that that's a big reason why I haven't cosplayed is because cosplay was always like a partnership thing or like I needed a physical support for it um it's hard to go to conventions alone. It's hard to take photos of yourself alone. <laughs> um, fairy houses. I have, you know, that's totally on my terms. I just sit down and paint. And so that's one of the reasons why my art changed so much. And one of the reasons why when people ask me like, oh, are you going to still make, do you still make costumes? Are you still going to do that? And it's like, I would love to, but there's, there's more physical and emotional hurdles to doing that, then I think it's probably than most people are aware of. Thanks, Navita Luna, so that the streams help brighten people's day. I mean, I can only hope so, but I've definitely, I was just thinking about this the other day, that I have switched, now that I spend most of my time alone, I feel like I have a better idea of like who I really am and what I really want. Because the whole idea of like being yourself is a very nebulous concept. Like who are you? What entails being you that is different than, you know, doing things that are influenced by those around you? And... Everybody has to answer that question for themselves. You know, we're each like inspired by various other people or other artists or projects and things, but, but who are we as individuals? Who am I? I don't know. But I'm starting to know more <laughs> because it ultimately comes down to like, what do I choose to do with my time and my resources when nobody else is around to help me make that decision? or make it easier for me to make that decision. And the answer has been painting fairy houses, going for walks in the forest. Um, you know, this whole like, I don't know, fantasy thing. My, my vibe, my 
fashion style. Like those choices have become clearer and more apparent to me the more time I spend by myself um, compared to when I was not living alone and had other people around and it, you know, my decisions were influenced on whatever level by, by, um, you know, being in a partnership or what my expectations were for my partner or their expectations for me. And so at this point I've been single for almost a year. Uh, I've been living alone since May and my tastes and my choices have become so much more apparent to me. Um, Oh, RAR 303, gotta run. Go enjoy the rest of your day. Oh, also Clean Noodle heading out. Thanks guys for stopping by and chatting with me for a while. It's been good. So anyway, hardships, you know, nobody wants to go through things that suck. Nobody wants to deal with difficult situations and people, but um, Making it through to the other side is one of the things that helps us define who we are on our own. Um, and so, yeah, I feel like I'm finally really starting to grasp that in a way that I didn't so much before. I've spent more effort being a, quote, content creator in the last month than I have in probably years. <laughs> and, uh... I used to feel hopelessness about doing anything on my own because it seemed like it just wasn't worth it. It wasn't going to be anything compared to what my partner at the time could do. And I don't feel that anymore because I don't have somebody else's achievements like hanging over me and feeling like I would be automatically a failure compared to that. Um, and everything is just on my terms now. It's like, well, if, uh, if it sucks, that's on me. <laughs> But uh, I have the, the tools to get better on my own. So, I've lost a lot of anxiety and fear that used to hold me back from streaming. The fear of not being good enough or popular enough. Now it's like, yeah, whatever. It's going to be as good as it is. It's, you know, it's my effort. It doesn't need to be compared to anybody else's. So... That's one way that I have learned about myself um, and become stronger through something that was difficult. And I learned that I love fairy houses. It's easier to lean into something that you truly love when nobody was over your shoulder telling you if it's good or bad or right or wrong. Not that not that my ex-partner was controlling me in that way, but um, it's eliminated the, the variable of having somebody else to please. Oh, hey there. Whale Fax is uh, enjoying uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf. You're a happy bean. That sounds great. What a wonderful way to spend the afternoon or evening now. Crap, it's 5 p.m. <laughs> Fairy houses, indeed. Welcome back to the fairy house factory. I mean, I'm glad that my sharing my experiences can help people. That's, you know, I've struggled with like how much to share or what to share, but ultimately, um, you know, I want to have productive conversations rather than like wallowing in the in the difficult uh, concepts or the difficult experiences. It's more about like, okay, well, where do I go in spite of that rather than woe is me that this happened kind of thing. Um, and so can't say that I always succeed or that I don't have days where I'm feeling more weighed down by it than others, but 
the ability to say, well, this isn't going to rule my life. This isn't going to rule my day. This isn't the only thing that matters. You know, I can choose to be productive. I can choose to go and do whatever that makes me happy. I can sit and paint a fairy house. I can walk through the woods. And regardless of whatever else happens, I understand that I, you know, it's a privilege to even be able to make those choices instead of being forced to meet somebody else's expectations or criteria for what my pathway or my healing would look like. Well, Zippity uh, says that they've, he's had a ton of encouragement from the community more than um, in a long time. I'm really glad to hear that. That's great. That's one thing that I keep hearing from people that motivates me to keep going because, yeah, it never, you know, it doesn't just magically get easier. You have to work toward it. And so I'm doing that. And I'm enjoying my streaming community. Thank you guys for being a part of this. Thanks for believing in me enough to even just like show up and chat while I do stuff. It really does make me feel more hope in this world, less alone. And as much as it sucks to have anybody say that they went through something similar, at least we're not alone. You know, it's kind of crazy what humans will put each other through I've been denied but uh the I the fact that, that there can be solidarity and community um in that is like well that's a silver lining I wish that none of us had experienced you know these negative things in life, but all we can do is move, move forward in spite of it. We can't turn it off. We just, we just do what we can for ourselves each day. Came for the craft, stayed for the hot, hiding the latte shakes. That sounds about right. Be the cursed trousers that you wish to see in the world. You know, I don't really know what that means, but uh, I agree. <laughs> But I'm very grateful for a community where people can be honest and help each other and help ourselves because nobody can like make it better or fix it. I just have to get stronger. So each day it's like, what can I do to help myself? And some days that's, most days that's not a very easy question. Some days it's harder than others, but it's something that you need to keep thinking about because ultimately like we can't change other people's behavior or opinions of us or what they will say or do or try to make others believe. It's just about what can I do to make my situation better? Um, so, make your art, find a community, share what you enjoy, what you believe in. I'm gonna get him before this stream is over. I'm gonna get him. Carve nudes, I'm glad. It always is a really uh, very inspiring thing to hear that people are um, have found like real friendships and real uh, 
uh, I guess, joy in the community. Because it wouldn't be enough if it were just for me. Like, that would be nice, and I appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. But it's even nicer to know that it's it's for everyone. You know, I don't want just Heidi's hug box. I want a community where people are genuinely making connections with each other and helping each other. And a space where I can genuinely provide value and give back rather than just sitting and soaking up compliments or whatever it tends to make me uncomfortable. <laughs> um, but I love art and artists. And uh, I love hearing that other people have found any type of solace in all of this. Woofer is asking... That's a phone call. Mm. Hey, I'm currently streaming. <laughs> it's okay, I just didn't want to turn off the call. You know, I didn't want to like, I didn't want you to feel like I'm ignoring you. So I can't chat, but I'm streaming. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. That was a good friend of mine. <laughs> oh, I should have said hi to them. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Anyway, I have um, a few friends that check on on me, which I'm very grateful for, but there's one in particular um, that calls me regularly, knows that I need the support, and so I do not want to shut her down. I wanted to say hi to her and let her know that she's not being ignored and that I appreciate her. So there we go. That was that. <laughs> Thanks for indulging my brief phone call. No, that was not my mom, but she could be like my mom. Good night, Navita Luna. Oh, okay, Woofer, sorry. Woofer was asking, how long have I been working on this particular piece and what is it made out of? This is a ceramic house that I have painted entirely on stream, so you can actually go back and watch previous streams of me painting this ceramic house. It's just like a white base house. I've got another... Oops, similar one right here. This is what it kind of looked like when it started. And I've come quite a ways since then, adding detail and color. <laughs> uh, your friends know you well enough not to call me, <laughs> or know me well enough not to call me. That's funny. Uh, I used to not talk to my friends on the phone and then it was actually, um, one of my other friends went through a divorce and we started talking on the phone a lot about it and now years later she's helping me through my divorce and so it's like, well, the tables have turned a bit um, and as much as it sucks that either one of us has to go through it, like isn't that nice that we could at least be there for each other? I don't know. <laughs> Am I going to do anything special with it after you're done painting? I'm going to sell it. <laughs> I'm going to try to get somebody to give me money. <laughs> you know, just uh, life stuff. That's right. Friendship connections make everything a bit more tolerable. Star Potion is heading out for the night. Thank you so much for the relaxing stream. Thank you. Thanks for coming to the stream and participating. Will I sell the house with a mortgage? No, but I will sell it with a, a light to go inside of it, probably. I don't know, it's like open on the bottom, so you can just pop a candle in it. An electric candle is probably a better idea for how small and enclosed it is, but... Still. I 
You don't think you can live in here? You gotta shrink down. So how's for fairies? It's looking so nice compared to how it was before. Even just a little bit of A little bit of shading goes a really long way and it is starting to look more like I would prefer it to before I call it finished and slap moss onto it. I'm uh, really enjoying my progress on this piece. Oh, wow, now we're going on two hours. Well, it's 140. An hour 40. I'm definitely going to try to finish the roof of the stream. I need to decide what kind of dinner I'm going to eat tonight. I have a little while to decide. I don't know. I don't have a lot of dinner options here at the house. I need to go grocery shopping. Maybe I'll treat myself to a pizza. I haven't had pizza in months. And I was thinking about it. Hey! Kitty is gifted more subs. Gifted one to Woofer. Thanks. Thank you so much for the sub. And uh, congrats to Woofer for the gift. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kitty. That's really nice of you. Pizza is never not a good option. I mean, you should ideally diversify your diet and not have pizza every day, but I haven't had pizza in a long time. Maybe it's time. Although, I gotta check the weather. I hate ordering pizza in bad weather because it's like I'm just uh, outsourcing that errand to somebody else. Mushrooms, eggs, and rice for dinner? That sounds good. I don't have any mushrooms, but I do have eggs and rice. I should get some mushrooms and start learning how to cook more with them. Good night, car of nerds. Enjoy the rest of your evening and stuff. I'll be back tomorrow with more projects. You can put anything on pizza and make it a balanced diet. I guess, if you try hard enough. Put syrup on pizza? Oh no. Mayo and peas on pizza? No thank you, that sounds terrible. Putting mayo on anything is not, generally not the best option. Put cashews on your pizza for crunch. I have never heard of that before. That's a new one. Like to put ranch on pizza. That's like relatively common as a dipping sauce where I'm where I'm from, around these parts.
Rina is like, just stop talking about pizza, please. I can't afford another peer pressure order. <laughs> Last time, that was me. I was like, oh, I want pizza, but I shouldn't. I've been pretty uh, limited on what I've been willing to eat or buy. Um, well, my divorce is at a stalemate. So, uh, you know, some of those days you just need to say fuck it and get yourself a pizza. I think this is that day. a fuck it pizza type of day. That's what I'm saying. Fuck it, eat pizza. I like these painting projects, but they honestly take so long to do all the details. It's probably not the wisest use of my time, but you know, it's also streaming. Streaming is also part of the point of just having the community, camaraderie, but I'll keep doing different types of projects too. Do I decorate them as haunted houses when it's Halloween? I didn't have the opportunity last year because I wasn't um, very active in doing this kind of stuff last Halloween, wasn't ready. Uh, that's a nice idea for the future. I just gotta keep working. Okay, we've only got these three panels and this side left. That's kind of cool. Look at how shiny it is. There's so much more depth to it now. I'm really pleased with that. Gothic spooky witch house. That could be fun. If I have another Victorian style house, maybe I'll choose that one next time. I could put like fake cobwebs on it. I'm definitely going to keep adding detail beyond the paint. Um, for those of you who haven't seen some of my older fairy houses. Uh, so we'll have like some physical moss on it. Um, Possibly some like screens for the windows. I could probably do that on this house. I like to use like skeleton leaves for that. It kind of looks cool. Um, so yeah. Something spooky for the unseely fae. <laughs> now all that um, whipped cream has blended into my drink. Mm, thank you. I need to post more stuff to my store. Um, Trim out saying I have neat things in the store. I'm trying. Oh, Whalefax is looking in my store. Well, thank you. Um, all the crafts that I've done on stream lately need to get added to that inventory, including my butterfly fairy house. But Hey, Penguin Cosplay, thank you so much. Has resubbed. They've been subbed for 32 months. Dang. Thank you. And they have that full princess, silent princess um, badge. They said, they said, so happy to see you back to some crafting. Thank you very much, Penguin Cosplay. It means a lot that people like you have stuck around 
and um, you know waited for me to come back and been willing to support me when I wasn't actively streaming. That means a lot to me. Thank you. I am gonna keep going with it. Every day, you gotta overcome the frustrations. You gotta overcome the little, little life things and the random people try to get you down. And just keep going. Uh, penguin gave a sub, uh, give a sub to another penguin, says Prinny. <laughs> oh, you got a, you got an emote from that. That's really cute. Prinny and Penguin helping each other out. Just like we had our slug club. That's not intended as a Harry Potter reference, but we had multiple slug Usernames in the chat last time. So that's our own version of the Slug Club. Closing in on this other panel, on this rooftop being done. Well, I'm not going to be able to pronounce your username, but uh, they said, uh, breaking your lurk just to say, this is the most relaxing, chill, and kind stream and chat I've seen in some time. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear you enjoy it here. Even if you just prefer lurking, that's okay. We're just going to hang out and have some good vibes all around. I don't know, the other slug isn't here today. You're gonna have to hold down the fort for the two of you. Stealth slug. Y'all ever just slug? Yeah. You know what? Slugs are very common up here in Washington. My mom is like obsessed with them. I actually forgot about that. Because we used to, um, we used to live in Texas and visit Washington in the summers when I was younger because my grandparents were here. And so for whatever reason, my mom just like had a little thing for slugs. We had like a wooden slug magnet on our fridge and then she would like take photos of slugs whenever she found them in the wild. I don't know why. I need to ask her about that. Be like, what was the deal with, with you and slugs a couple of years ago? Um, but they're very, very common up here. I think in the summertime, late summer. It's like slug season at some point of year. Maybe if I go out in the woods more often, I will stumble upon the slugs and if I do I'll I will honor them in your name stealth slug kitty says I used to live in Texas which part yes I lived in Dallas I grew up in Dallas um, not like literally Dallas but Dallas suburbs that's where I, all of my my formative years were all spent in Texas I lived there until I was about 26. I recall correctly. I'm much happier up here in Washington. It's way more my speed, the temperature, as well as politics and all of that, but I still have a big fondness for Texas. Silex Studios is hopping off. Well, thank you for coming uh, to the stream and hanging out. Yeah, that's right, not too far from Canada up here. Now, once again, we're having like a full-blown slug convo <laughs> in the chat, which is always charming.
Washington is pre-Canada. I've never heard that one before. I feel like a lot of Washingtons would not, Washingtonians would not agree, but all right, sure. Slugs do love that moisture. I guess that's probably why they're so prevalent in humid areas. I'm not familiar with this song, but I really like it. Slugs deserve to be discussed, says Stealth Slug. I feel like you're a bit biased, but I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll give you that one. Okay, I'm on my last little slice of this roof spire. You're so close to being done with this and then I can order my pizza. I pretty much decided. It's what feels right. Night, stealth slug. Thanks for entertaining us with the slug discussion. Tomorrow's weather is definitely going to be colder than today. I was looking it up, so I probably won't get another chance to do like an outside stream for the rest of this week. Honestly, we'll see what happens, but kind of doubt it that I'll make it out to the woods again until it warms up. So I have to be careful about that and check the weather before I make any bold claims about what I'm going to do for the day. Chicken nugs for slugs. Oh my gosh, now chicken nuggets sound really good to me too. What are you doing? <laughs> I think I'm just hungry. I gotta wrap up this roof paint job so that I can go feed myself. I have the heat like all the way up in this room and I'm still so cold that I'm like about to go put on a jacket. No, I took my jacket upstairs. This doesn't even match what I'm wearing, but it's warm just by the heater. <laughs> Plague Bear is going to go make a pizza? Well, that sounds nice. Okay, now I hope I don't get paint on this jacket because I like it. Or this sweater. Which... I need to hit it with a, a fabric shaver.
I look like a scientist now? I don't understand, but okay. It's not a white coat, it's like a beige cardigan, but okay, sure. The lighting gives it a sciency sciency look. All right, I'll take your word for it. Look like an off-duty surgeon. Everyone's saying it looks like a lab coat. Now I want to take it off. <laughs> it's like a flowing cardigan. Whatever. <laughs> I'll I'll deal. it. It's a hard little section to get into. It looks like a white cape. We'll try. Well, thank you all. I'll just embrace it. I feel like I can't paint fast enough. I need my dinner. Maybe my grouchy mood from earlier was partially hanger, is that what they call it? I'm hangry. I just need some food. Um, I won't use oil diffusers in my house because of my cat. Um, I know that they can be finicky, but uh, candles work nicely for me. Thanks guys. I'm sure that some pizza and relaxation will get me back on the right track. I did get some Breath of the Wild playing in last night. After I got back from exploring the woods, I went and virtually explored the woods in a video game, like you do. So that is also potentially on the docket. Um, Wraith Knight is saying that uh, their cat doesn't mind it much. Uh, it's not really about whether or not he would like it, but I know that um, oil diffusers can be poisonous for cats and dogs. I, it would depend on the type of oil that you're using, but I just knowing that is like enough for me to not trust it and not want to have to deal with it. So that's why I haven't done um, oil diffusers because I've read about some scary stories where the pets get poisoned just by using it in your home. So um, if your cat is unbothered by it, then you're probably fine, but I would want to be like double checking any type of oil that I'm using. So yeah, just a heads up. I'm sure that 
you're probably okay, but that was uh, what I had, it's like one of the only things I know about oil diffusers is that you have to be careful about the oil that you're using. Typically, as long as you avoid citrus, you'll be okay. I mean, knowing that you can make the wrong choice and end up poisoning your pet is enough for me to not do it at all, ever. Hi, World of Gwendana. Nice to see you. There's a photographer friend of mine um, that I've worked with many times. Uh, it's great to see you in the chat. I hear you're going to be cosplaying at Katsukon, so you've probably got a lot of preparation going on. Oh, nice. Uh, not having to make anything. That's awesome. Yeah, I guess that makes it a little bit easier, but still lots of preparation and research goes into your photo shoots. I know that, so. Well, you're coming at the tail end of my stream. I am trying to finish up this rooftop detailing so I can get myself a pizza. <laughs> And relax this evening. Simple joys. Yes, I haven't had pizza in months. I had pizza the, the last time I had pizza was in October. Uh, and so it is time. It's time for me to make bad choices and eat pizza. <laughs> Hi, Lily LaFay. Oh, a lot of people are showing up right here. Nice to see you. Those cosplay photos you posted were really nice. In the Discord. Once more, shout out to our Discord community. If you haven't gone to check it out, you might enjoy it. Um, and our link is in the description box below. I added a little bit too much shadow in this area, so I'm just going to wipe it off of the highlights. That actually works really well. Apple pie Kit Kat? I've never heard of that. Sounds nice. That's too much. Too much paint on my brush. You. I feel like I've been working on this house for so long because <laughs> I've been spacing it out between streams, but we're almost getting to the point where I'm ready to embellish it with a, what do you call it, a moss and other little details, three-dimensional details like that. water in this wash to help it kind of flow in the cracks. That was probably something I should have been doing earlier, but it takes a while to get that consistency perfect. Some pizza sauce would really bring the whole thing together. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I would love some pizza sauce in my life right now.
Oh, I know you meant on the house. <laughs> I was just rolling with it. There's some pepperoni in the windows. I'm not sure if that's really the aesthetic I'm going for, but I like your creativity. I don't know, I struggle with my appetite a lot, like, I haven't been enjoying food very much, and it's harder when you, oh, I don't know, uh, aren't good at cooking, and then you equally dread making food as well as not being very enticed by it. I've definitely been eating enough, but it's still just like a chore more so than something that's really enjoyable, so I think that Letting myself have a little bit of junk food, it's probably not the worst, worst thing I could do. Have I gone to the doctor? No, it's not a health, it's not a physical issue, it's an emotional issue. Um, it's just a... Uh, anxiety and depression more so than anything else but I have been treated for that so I'm doing what I can I could learn to prepare simple food that I enjoy the problem is that there's nothing in that category <laughs> uh, I have been making strides to learn how to cook more and to uh, focus on making healthy things. Um, I pretty much survive on a diet of rice and beans and veggies. So it's not like I'm eating crap or not eating anything. Like I get, I get my nutrition. It's just hard to enjoy it when you're not in the mood. No, I won't do a cooking stream. People keep asking for that. I have nothing to, to teach you and it would not be interesting. It would be embarrassing for me and boring for you. That's why I'm not going to do a cooking stream. Uh, but it's, it's more of um, a matter of my mindset than it is with anything else so it's just something I'm gonna have to keep working on um, it'll get better over time okay I actually feel pretty good about this right now I'm gonna add a little bit more detail then I'm gonna order my pizza what time is it oh it's past the two-hour mark I'm streaming for about two hours and 15 minutes rooftop that I have spent the stream detailing. Added a lot of different shading shadows to really make these shingles pop. I like it a lot more than before. I still want to add more shading and detail to the house itself, but I think this is a really good step in the right direction. Yay! So there's definitely some more progress I'm going to make. I want to add more details to certain areas of the house and then by the time the painting is done I'll add more moss, like physical moss, onto these sections with the and also the trees. Probably cover that up to make it look a little bit more realistic and um, add some flowers and some other little details like that. Thanks guys, I really like the shininess of it, it's fun, and overall I'm really pleased with the progress that we made, I think it was a good choice to add this to the, the shingles, and I'll have to get some more darker purples and blues so I can do the shading on the rest of the house the way I like it. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream so that I can order my food 
need to get some pizza but thank you guys as always for tuning in and listening to me ramble and uh, keep me company so that I can get some progress done but thank you guys thanks for coming and I will stream again tomorrow at some point in the afternoon probably and uh, we'll see what tomorrow has in store for us as always all right bye guys